The power output of an electrical component is dependent on the current through it and the potential difference across it. The power is the rate at which the component converts energy from the charge carriers into other forms. So the power is determined by the amount of energy given by a charge carrier and how frequently they pass through the component. So power is equal to the potential difference multiplied by the current. In symbol form, that is P equals I times V. The current is measured in amps. The potential difference is measured in volts and the power is measured in watts. Let's have a look at an example using this equation. The image on the right shows a power rating for a microwave that is designed to have a power output of 1200 watts when a potential difference of 240 volts is supplied to it. Calculate the current through the microwave under these conditions. So power ratings are used on components to show the range of potential difference and power that's safe to use. We need to keep below this potential difference and power range or it can become dangerous. So for the first step, let's write down the key information and check the units. The power is equal to 1200 watts. The potential difference is equal to 240 volts. And we want to calculate the current. For step two, let's rearrange the power equation to make current the subject. And we can do that by dividing both sides of the equation by the potential difference. And that gives us current is equal to the power divided by the potential difference. For step three, let's substitute the values into the rearranged equation to find the current. So current is equal to 1200 watts divided by 240 volts. And that gives us five amps of current running through the microwave. Next, let's have a look to see what ways we can increase the power given to a component. The power output of an electrical component can be increased by increasing the current or potential difference. So for example, in this circuit, if we supply more power to the bulb, it will increase its brightness. We could do that by adding a cell. This increases the power as there's more potential difference from the source given to the bulb. We could also remove a resistor. This increases the power by decreasing the total resistance and therefore increasing the current through the bulb. But we still do want to use resistors to stop the current from becoming too high. So the bulb is now brighter as there's more power. This is because power equals potential difference multiplied by current, which have both increased. For your exam, you don't need to explain the exact ways of increasing power of a component, but you should be able to explain how changing the potential difference or the current or the resistance will cause the power to change. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.